Hey folks, it's Brian here at West Davidson Public Library with a special announcement. Uh, we know that you, like us, are stuck at home more often than usual uh, these days. And as such, we thought I would start a new video review series to recommend movies for you to watch at home with your families. Uh, as such, I would like to welcome you to the very first edition of West Davidson Public Library's Family Theater. Uh, what I've been doing is I've been going uh, through our DVD catalog and our digital resources looking for movies that I thought you would love to watch with your family and I'll be doing reviews of those going forward and my very first selection for this series is the movie Paddington. Uh, Paddington is the 2014 live-action movie that was directed by Paul King and written by Paul King and Hamish McColl. It stars Ben Wishaw as the voice of Paddington, Hugh Bonneville, Sally Hawkins, Madeline Harris, Samuel Joslin, Peter Capaldi, and Nicole Kidman. Uh, it's based on the Paddington Bear books by Michael Bond. It's actually very faithful to those books. Uh, the only thing I can say that was a major variation from it, besides I guess the inclusion of a villain, is uh, it has a slightly more tragic beginning and origin than the original books did, but it's not overly so. I mean, it's certainly no Bambi and it's definitely no Up, so don't worry about that. Um, I will say uh, I had heard nothing but good things about this movie. Uh, friends of mine had suggested it repeatedly and gushed about how much uh, they enjoyed it. And so it's been on my list of things to watch forever. So I was thrilled to find out that we not only have a DVD copy here in the catalog, it's also available digitally on ncdigital.overdrive.com. So uh, I, with all that, I was like, well, um, this is going to be the first one I review because I've heard so many great things about it. And having said all that, uh, I have to say this was absolutely one of the sweetest and most beautiful films I've ever seen. Um, that's even taking into account the uh, tragic, well, more bittersweet elements, I should say, instead of tragic, bittersweet elements in the opening, uh, and even the grace-out humor in it. Um, even with all that, this was such a sweet, beautiful film. Um, as for that gross-out humor, uh, it's uh, really impressive. Uh, the gross-out humor is not overly gross. It's uh, actually filmed in such a way to make it uh, really endearing, and it's really remarkable. Uh, a lot of times, I don't like a lot of kid movies because I don't like kid movies that either vary really drastically from the source material, uh, if they tell a really bad story, and or if uh, they just lean into toilet humor instead of actually having a good story. And uh, this movie's like the exact opposite of that. Uh, first of all, it is very faithful to the original material. Um, I was not super familiar with the books until I started doing research for this review. Uh, and But, however, having read into it, they follow the original origin and stuff from the original books very closely. Uh, so that was nice. Uh, as for the story, it is just it is just charming and warm. It is a great story with a great message. Uh, throughout the movie, there's the message of helping others and not only thinking of yourself. There's also the message of the importance of family, whether it be your biological family or found family. And those are two very great, uh, very good messages to deliver in a kid's movie, and this movie really, really, really delivered in that aspect. And as for uh, the potty humor that is in this uh, movie, one, it's not uh, nearly as bad as some stuff as I've seen in some big-budget kid movies that I absolutely hated. Uh, and uh, not only is it not that bad, like I said earlier, it's very clever and endearing. And it's also not the main form of humor in this movie. Most of the humor either comes from situational humor, uh, some really clever dialogue, and some equally clever sight gags. Uh, the sight gags are transcendent. Uh, this is a movie that rewards you for paying attention to the scenery in the background, so just keep an eye out for some really cute, clever gags. Um, I will say, uh, this is a PG movie. It got a PG I'm, uh, rating, I'm sure, for things such as that tragic scene at the start, the, the little sad part at the start. Also, probably the toilet humor. Uh, also, I would say, there is some mild tranquilizer dart violence and some scenes of peril. That probably uh, uh, accounted for it as well. But having said all that, everybody but I would say the youngest viewers should be able to handle all that. Uh, I'm sure this would work for young kids through teens through adults. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. and The people that recommended it to me were all adults. Uh, I will say also the cast was fantastic in this. Um, first off, as a Doctor Who geek, uh, my favorite uh, thing about it was seeing Peter Capaldi and Matt Lucas show up in this and uh, in a, a couple of supporting roles. That was a real treat. But uh, aside from Wishaw himself doing excellent work as Paddington, my absolute favorite people in this are Hugh Bonneville and uh, Sally, Sally Hawkins. Uh, and it, they are the parents, the Browns, uh, especially, especially Sally. Uh, she is 
she just radiates warmth and charm, and it's just absolutely delightful in this movie. She was my favorite part of it. Uh, so for that, I'll have to say, I have to give this movie, just based off the story, the important message, and the wonderful performances, uh, not to mention the great humor, um, I have to give this my highest pop- possible recommendation. Uh, I highly, highly recommend this to anybody of all ages. Uh, you can find this either on a physical copy on DVD that we have here that we'd be super happy to check out for you. Or you can also find it on ncdigital.overdrive.com. Now, like any other movie on there, you can't watch it on the uh, Libby app. However, you can watch it on your browser once you've checked it out. Or, as I found out, you can watch it using your device's browser if you have the Overdrive app. And uh, once I had that app on there, it worked like a charm. Uh, so you can watch it in either of those formats. If you're interested in checking it out, just give us a call here at West Davidson Public Library. If you need any help watching it on the digital platform, give us a call as well, and we'll be happy to help you. Uh, once again, I have to say, definitely check out this movie. Let us know what you thought about it in the comments below. And I hope you enjoyed the very first edition of West Davidson Public Library's Family Theater.